Right, I've been in the church, purchased a book and a DVD, put the money inside the baptism font because I didn't know where to put it. There was no um, box or anything. I did hear voices when I was in there, two men talking. I think they might have been the gardeners. They've just mowed a path because I expect what they are doing, like they do with a lot of uh, churches now, they keep them as wild areas. You know, so there's a little path there, a little shed there. Let's just do a little video of the church. I've calmed down a bit now. I've recovered from thinking I wasn't going to find it. So it's tucked away. And I was walking right up there in the drove, right above, which I'm going to try and locate, but not the way I came. I know somewhere down there there's a path going across. So we would discover, that's what we're here for, exploring. But I think perhaps there were two people out here working a minute ago. I've walked all around here before and I've probably got this on video, by the way. Um, you know, I've probably got this on video. I have got it on video, I know I have. I'll have to go back and listen to it again because when I came here the first time, I don't think I knew, I was totally aware that Jude was ill, or, or I might have known. I can't remember now, but I have to listen to that video again. And there's a little seat up there I'm going to sit on and have a bit of cheese. I know I shouldn't have cheese, but I haven't had anything to eat since half a pancake this morning for breakfast at half past five in the morning. Yeah, they might have been down there a minute ago working. Definitely heard two men. Oh, I'm glad they've made this path. Let's see up there. Got a few ticks about. That's what I mean, they get everywhere. And I can't feel there's a gate there. I parked Alberta. We'll have a look at that in a minute. What does that say? Esme. Esme Trencham, 1895 to 1979. Oh, it might be dodgy sitting down. Creatures might get me, but oh. I really want to sit down. There's the hills, look. Oh, there's the hills. I've got to find a way up there. Along there, I think. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, we'll find it in a minute. We'll find it. I'm sure there's Bishop Lydia or something like that up there. Somewhere over there I've got to go. Right, I'm turning off for a minute, going to just have a drink. Right, I've sat for a brief time, just for a small picnic. I'd walked all along those hills earlier on the drove and down, right over there somewhere and then back down. I'd gone more than I needed to, but I didn't find the path. Apparently there is a way up down by the valley there, and I do recognise the drove up the top there of West Bagborough. I do recognise certain features. Um, I think I might have a lot of hill to climb. I've just had a piece of cheese and a piece of cake and a drink and a jelly, just to boost my glucose. But I'm glad I got here. Glad I've come. 
The last time I came here, my sister Jude was still alive. And I purchased the book that I've now again purchased for myself here to remind me of her. I know she helped guide me here today. There was a deer, one deer, on the drove. And I think really she was trying to tell me to turn off. But I didn't. I carried on. I went too far. But in the end, I met a nice woman in the 4x4. Four four. Very friendly girl from the village. And she told me where to go. And it was I wasn't actually far away. But I didn't need to have gone so far down the drove. But there was no sign for a turning. And I, I thought I'd best keep... To the boundaries which is what I always do when I'm new to an area. Now in a minute there's more adventure coming because I've now got to explore my way out of here. I'm not going back the way I came that's massive hill but it's probably massive hill going this way but I don't mind. I like to do a circular route. Someone said there is a way out on the top here. You follow the road and then go through a gate or something and it takes you to um, Lydia Hill, I believe. But I'm going to, so I'm going to go out that way first and have a look. Then I'm going to come back down because I know there was a way by one of these cottages across that way. Right, so this is Sheila on the 1st of June. We've got to All Saints, a beautiful little church. I've been in there and videoed and taken photos. I've got need to dig up the old video I did to remind me. Uh, of that visit which was now seven years ago by the way you know I was only 65 the last time I was here and I'm 72 now and I'm glad I've got here before I drove and I parked out there with my van I didn't walk all these hills but I'm glad I did and I will continue and I will come back and I will explore more of it knowing not to go too far breathing in the beautiful air. It's a weird weather at the moment. I feel like it could rain even. It's sort of not the big hot blue sky that I thought it was going to be. But it doesn't matter. It's kept me cool. I've taken my coat off for a little while, but I'll probably end up putting it on again. So until I come back another time from a different route, that will be a mission. It will happen. West Bagborough Plantation stuff up there. Um, I'm going. But I will be videoing my way back. Over and out. Right, a bit of a gamble, everyone. I didn't go down to the cottage opposite the church. So I, I've said goodbye to the church. And I've decided to come up high already, rather than go through the valley. I might end up down there yet. But I'm on this side of the valley now. With quite a big hike to do. But I've got no idea where I'm going. I know all I know is I'm heading that way. Across fields that aren't marked. But something tells me I can go this way. It's a big noller. Uh, not big noller. Um... Near Lydia Hillway and West Bagborough. Well, I was right over there earlier, following the drove, right the way round, right the way down. I followed them all that I followed, not knowing where to turn off. I'm just playing it by ear now, because uh, I I did quickly read that there was a walk you could do from the church, Ash Holt, towards Lydiard Hill. I don't know if this is the way. Um, I've got no idea. But the church, I've left the church now. Had a little picnic. Now I'm guessing. Now I'm guessing. Yeah. 
Now they don't, what they don't do up out here is mark anything. I'm trying to avoid cattle as well. And I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is the pathways made by others. Now, what do you reckon? Straight across? I recognise that drove. I reckon it is hills up here. Do you? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. But I recognise that. That's what I'm heading for, I think. I'd like to spend a bit longer. I didn't feel Jude that strong there. Yeah, I reckon, no, I reckon it's over there is West Bagbra bit there. So, we'll go this way for now. If I get the Lydiard Hill, there's no problem. Yeah, I didn't want to walk back the way because it would have meant a hell of a climb going back up. There must be a road up here. I can see a cottage. It's all guesswork. I'm guessing, by the way. This is Sheila exploring in the countryside, trying to avoid roads if she can. I mean, the alternative coming out from the church was to be to walk straight through that valley. But like I said before, I like to do boundaries. I like to do boundaries. My little church, which you can't see, is beyond that big tree there. And we've come up this side. I'd like to be able to do the valley another time. That's when I'll do Stout Lane. Now there's a path going across here. What do you reckon? Follow it. Otherwise you're going to end up in... Um, Just follow it for now. <sighs> Looks well trodden. And we're going in the right direction, that's what you've got to think of. <sighs> Gate there, look. <sighs> gate there. Do you think you should have gone to that gate shell? Might have been a sign. No, something tells me to go this way. It's so beautiful. I'm videoing it as I go. I've got no idea where I've never ever walked here, by the way. Never. So I don't know if that gate over there is a proper gate and I'm going off track. I've got no idea. But something tells me to go this way first. Because I am going in the right direction, believe it or not. I'm parallel with the drove, which was over there. Which is over there. And I walked all the way down it and then had to come down a track. I can just see the top of the church now. I just zoom in. Sort of there. There's the top of All Saints Church at all. It's keeping an eye on me. I can see Hinkley Point as well, right over there. 
I'm just presuming that this is a walker's track and they know where they're going but I don't I needed to really knock on someone's door and say is this the way Is that a seat? Is that a seat, do you think? Or some sort of watering thing? <laughs> it's a settee. Look at this. It's a settee, folks. place to have one isn't it set in the middle of a field they oh, great well what are you going doing now where's the path gone chill follow the path Look at that gorgeous view though, look at that. <sighs> it's beautiful. I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I'm ad living, by the way. I mean, if I, if I was desperate, I'd have to go straight across and up there. Would you? Yeah. Enjoying the drove again. be a long climb wouldn't it or you can go stay on this side and hope for the best another house I can see people Follow, just keep following the trail. You're going the right way. This is what it's all about. Exploring. It's scary though. The thing is, when I'm on my own like this, I do get a bit anxious because I've got no one to say, should we go that way? Or what do you reckon? You know, there ain't nobody. And sometimes I don't know if I make the right decisions. It's a house there, look. I seen a group of people on the top there. So I've got no idea where I'm going. I'm just following this very there's a better path there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm ad living. Big time. Right, I'm gonna shut off for a while. I'll come back on when I've got somewhere.